<laughs> Hi, Danielle Silver here. I'm in the market in Glastonbury. I try not to laugh because someone's making me laugh here. But um, I've just come to see Ted. Who is just done, when I did the video last uh, week on Michelle, who had the runes made of bones, this is the man who made the runes. And he also, um, can you tell us about how you got into making runes? Yes, certainly. Well, I started off, well, I moved to Glastonbury a year ago. Yeah. And um, I didn't have any sort of like income. Yeah. And I started making ones from these old pieces of wood that had fallen down from up yeah. the tour. Okay. I took them down to Chrissy, a local witch. And yeah. I said, is there any chance you could uh, sell these? And she said, yeah, sure. Yeah. So that kicked off. Yeah. People wanted more. Yeah. Then I was asked to make some runes and I, I connected with the runes. Yeah. Started reading and started yeah, yeah, really yeah. picking up with the runes. Yeah. Then I found out I had more of a Nordic history as well. Yeah. My ancestry goes right back. Yeah. Scottish mounted policemen, Irish, yeah. Scandinavia did the blood test and everything. Yeah. Sure. Then someone said, what are the chances of you making bone runes? Yeah. Uh, we've done bone runes yeah, before. Yeah. Done them. I've sold about 50 sets on that. That's amazing. In the space of a year. As, so. as I said last week on the video, it's a very old way of doing it. It is, reading. it is. When you read it is. myself, it is a very old yeah. way. Although I've never done the runes myself and I've never done the bones. I actually no, carry my own set, yeah. which is engraved as well as burned on. Okay. They're not a brilliant set because they were the first set I made. Well, you can have a reach if you want. Have a reach. I've got to reach, reach in now. I even have my own moon cards I made. Oh, to. lovely. So, yeah, you go. <laughs> dig deep, dig well. All right, there you go. There you go. Got my I'm still learning, my friend, You're so still learning. But me. you can do this. Everybody can do this. This is more than welcome to fix in. Okay. And where are we? That one there. There you go. Yeah. Mankind, the self. Friends. Enemies, social order. Oh, but you can brainstorm on these yeah. specific words. Yeah, yeah. And that's the beauty of the runes, it's yeah. not one specific yeah, so meaning. Yeah, it's through yeah. everything Source comes in. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's lovely. I also do these. Um, yeah. Let's have a look at what he does around here. Come with me. I also do these. I love the way you it all on the. I also do these altar runes. Oh. Say, if you've, say if you've drawn a rune for the day, yeah. you want to meditate on it and learn the word that of the rune. That is so lovely. I've never seen anyone do that. Well, that's good for medicine because you can harmonise with it. Yeah. So if you picked up Ansusa, Ansus, you can read it and meditate with it. Yeah. Another and spiritual tool, obviously, is Milner. Yeah. yeah. And you've got the ones here. And, these are, and this is what you made, Michelle, as well, wasn't it? These yes, I do all the boxes myself. And, and the room casting boards. I do. That's a little like nod to the Game of Thrones But I love the way you've done that. So they're really lovely. Oh, thank you very much. So uh, the stock's a bit low at the moment because it? it just goes yeah. so quickly. Yeah, it's great. Though, isn't here at the it? beginning of so the day. Can you tell me about this here as well? This is Idrisil. It's the tree of nine realms. Right. So we're currently, Earth is Midgard. Midgard. Asgard is the world of the gods. And right. they, they hold us, yeah. uh, uh, people of Earth, in high guard. That's why we sit among the gods. And Helheim, of course, is like the, the underworld, the darkest. Yeah. But there's, there's light in the dark realms as well. There's Niflheim, the ice giants and stuff. And bits and bits. Oh, that's where the giants? Yeah, there's all giants, yeah. yeah. And then, um, yeah. Niflheim. So but it's all cut and sand. It's all local forest, uh, foraged woods. I love this one. This one took 26 hours. Wow, that's amazing. 26 hours of Gosh, dear so little pen, uh, yeah. heat pen. Yeah. I call this the last stand. Because of the, <laughs> the Vikings holding up their fort there. Did you do this yourself? Yes, Such of course, yeah. Lovely. All the work's done Isn't by it me. lovely? It's you can really see amazing. where my work's progressed. In the six, yeah. six to seven months I've actually started yeah. doing it. This is one of my very early pieces, yeah. the Viking ship. And they're very basic, and then you come to something like that. It's just progressing, progressing. And that's the way forward, isn't it? Mm. And there's so many rich people in Glastonbury in terms of their mind and mm. what they do. So this is your card, isn't it? Is. it? And um, could you read out your number for me? Of course I can. It's 07 939 811 569. Okay. And I can make anything to order all your bone runes, rib bone runes, or anything that you desire, really. Okay. Any and plaques got, or anything. And have you got um, anything to say for us today? Hail 
Hail to the gods! Hail to the gods! <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, you're welcome. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> right, thanks for listening. Danielle Silver Medium. Say bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>